Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome on this new video on Sharp Swedi. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a render adding a color or adding a materials. Sharp Swedi, it is a CAD software, Swedi modeling uh, software. You have a free version and at the same time you have a paid version. If you like my video, subscribe to my YouTube channels. You can also take a glance on the first link on the description because it is my complete course that I propose. So if you want to learn Sharp 3D totally, if you want to perfectly master all the features and you want to create all your 3D uh, models, first links on the descriptions, this course will be perfect for you. So let's start with uh, the colors. So the first things, to do it to create an element, we are going to click on create a sketch and select the front work plane. On the front work plane, I'm going to create a rectangle, just change the rectangle from diagonal and create a first rectangle with two values. The first value will be 60 and the second value will be 40 millimeters. Then I can create a second rectangle with a value of uh, 60 millimeter by 20 millimeter, a little bit more 80 millimeter by 20 millimeter, just like that. I can use one of these tools, the arc tools, to create a first point here to a second point here, and I can drag and move until to obtain 180 degrees and a radius of 20 millimeter. With my circle tool, let's create a circle on this area. Let's work with 26 millimeter. And now I'm going to make some modification to my sketch with the trim tools and erase this line, this line, this line, and erase also this line, just like that. So I created this element. I can just finish my sketch and click on this part, create an extrusion on this direction with a value of 60 millimeter. The so next step is to click on this face, create a sketch. I can zoom little out, create a rectangle, directly diagonal rectangle. I can just use my grid, as you can see, and go, for example, to, um, I can zoom little bit, for example, this one. And I can just use my grid and just arrive around this area. I have 63 by 30, uh, 63 by 36. I need to take a glance. Normally it is okay. I have exactly the same space on the two parts and finish the sketch. Create an extrusion, click on this face and this face and create an extrusion on this direction and just validate. The next step is to click on this face, create a sketch. So at the same time, you can see little the features of Sharp 3D. I can create a rectangle, define from center and create a center point, for example, here and create a rectangle with 12 millimeter by 42 millimeter and finish the sketch. Click here and create an extrusion on this direction, just like that. So it's okay for that. If I want, I can maybe increase a little bit my render. I can press shift and shift here and I can drag and move to create, for example, a fillet like that and I'm going to stay like this. Click on the construction tree. I'm going to remove the different sketch plane. Click here, delete and click here, delete. So now I have this part and I would like to increase the render with the materials. You need to go on visualization here. I'm going to show you again. You have visualization option. If you go on visualization, you want to capture, export your work with this one, you will have to use the paid version. And first things is you can change the environment. You go on environment, you have different type of options here, depending of what you want. Let's come back with the default environment and you have materials here. To add the materials, you have multiple options. You click on categorize and you can select the categories that you want. If, for example, I want a metal materials, I have a list of different things that I can apply. So M is just to drag and move. I have, for example, aluminum brush. I can drag and move and directly position this one on my element, just like this. 
If I want it to change, for, for example, wood, I can click on wood, I have different options, and I can drag and move, for example, just here. If you apply a material like this, and you come back and use materials, you have edit options. And with edit option, you have the possibility to scale your material, so it means increase the size or decrease the size. Here in this example, I'm going, for example, to decrease the size and I can just click on done. So the aim is just to drag and move what you want directly. And you can drag and move here. It will be applied directly on all the body. So it means if you separate your body, you can apply this one on different type of body. Um, so here it's a beach board. If I want to change, you have other type of options, like for example, fabrics. It's not extremely useful, but it's just to show you. I can change for stone, wood, metal. I can use also plastic. I think plastic can be interesting in this example. So I can select, why not, uh, this one. And drag and move and position my plastic materials directly on this area. One more time, I can use edit. Depending of the materials, you can have less or more options. Here I can scale. And if I change the color, it is possible, as you can see. If I want to make something in uh, like orange, dark orange, I can use this one. And you can also pick a face color if you need. You can just recuperate a face color. Here it's something little specific. If you want to recuperate a color for a different part. So here you can scale. At any moment, you can change the materials also with an odor, just like that. So this is how you can add uh, an element. It's not very advanced features, but at least it is convenient. It is simple. You just need to select the categories that you want, and you can just drag and move here. Uh, let's just come back and change. I'm going to change for metals. And one more time, I have different options. Let's apply like this one. And I can click here. If I double click, uh, if I double click on the materials here, or I can go and edit. Here, for example, in this material, use material, I don't have the options to edit this one. If I use, for example, this one, it depends on the materials that you choose. Sometimes you have the possibility to edit and sometimes you won't have the possibility to edit. Um, here it's a little strange because if I click on this face, now I can edit, but I can edit only on the face. If I select everything here, now I can have change and I can scale just like this. It's okay. Uh, if you click, for example, on a specific face, here i can scale only on this face so it means i'm going to change the size only on this face and i can click on done something also interesting you can select on your face for example if i select only this face and i click on change i select for example anodized metals you can also apply another element on a different face uh, you need for example to um, you need, for example, to click on a face just like this. And by default, this is the material that you have for all your element, all your body. And if you click on change, you can define another type of color just like this. And after you will have multiple colors if you want multiple materials, if you apply on multiple faces also. And you can drag and move, for example, here it's all the body. But if I just click on this face, I can replace again. And I can click on change and select another again. So it's okay for that. After you have the possibility to capture JPEG image file, uh, your render. I just come back just here. It was just to show you. If you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can let like also on the video. And the complete course is available on the first link on the description. As I explained, I'm online teachers, different graphic design uh, software since uh, years. 
uh, at the same time about 3D modeling, CAD software, but also other type of graphic design software. And I focus a lot of my time to create quality curves. And first thing on the description, you will find the quality curves about Sharp 3D if you want to master everything. For the next video, see you. Ciao, ciao.